Okay, I recently got asked how to set up the web interface on the Bomber Verisense cameras, um, and I'll show you how to do that. It's pretty simple. Uh, basically, you need to be hooked up into live image, so you need to have a, a real camera hooked up to your PC. Um, this doesn't work for images from PC because uh, the web interface only works once you've activated the device. So, um, the first thing you need to do is you need to go here um, there's three tabs here. There's help, info, and support. You click on info and then you um, highlight the IP address of the camera. Uh, yeah, that one. You copy it. And then you open up any web browser. And I've used Internet Explorer as well as Chrome, and both of those have worked for me. Um, you don't need to be connected to the internet. You just need to, you know, have the camera plugged into the um, PC and then you're going to paste your IP address you click enter and then you're going to go straight into the web interface now if your device is not activated like ours is not it says device is not activated and you're not going to see anything um, so what we do is we go here we activate the device you say yes and now it's activated uh, there's just a black screen here because I have the cover on the camera it's not really checking for anything um, but if we go into here now you can see that the not okay which is the bad images the images that it's failing is up to 15 16 17 because it's actually looking for a 2d code um, within the image but because the covers on uh, it's failing everything because it's not seeing anything now if it was picking up the correct 2d code you'd see the statistics for the okay start going up um, we're running pretty slow here at 1.1 parts per second. Now if you want to switch over to percentages you just click on the not okay and it goes straight to percentages as opposed to um, numbers. You can click on that again to change it back. Um, a couple of notes. This, when you're running very fast speeds um, or have a lot of processing power being taken up, um, it's not going to display every image. Um, it'll just send maybe every other image or every third image uh, just because if you're running at let's say 800 parts a minute um, if you were showing every image it would just be a blur anyway so it's not necessarily a live um, feed but you do get the statistics and you do see what the camera is seeing um, in real time as well as if you're running uh, pretty slow like at this 1.1 we're gonna see every image um, and that's really it. That's all you need to do to set up uh, the web interface.